Hi, this is Billy Bean here with a U.S. News Update. Today's date, May 16, 2024. Time, about 2 p.m. in Texas. U.S. Episode 172. Some of the things we'll be covering. Life-threatening floods in Texas and the U.S. J.B. tries to censor social media. Bank bail-in, World War III, who, and debates coming up. Some of my sources are God in the Bible, Patriot Subscriber, Suspicious Observer, Space Weather, Mary Greeley, Texas Weather Center, Mitch West, Ryan Hall, Martin Armstrong, Zero Hedge, uh, All News Pipeline, Redacted, Channel 13, jo Dr. John Campbell, and Dave Hodges. So let's get started. I'm going to begin with a Patriot subscriber talking about chemtrails. I think I figured out how they, the deep state, are making us sick. It's the chemtrails, and they produce contaminated water and air we breathe. So that's going on. Now, uh, Best and Taylor are bringing this out. Thousands of people are sick in Oklahoma, and many believe that when the eclipse across Oklahoma occurred, that was uh, April 8, that bioweapons were dropped in the air. Uh, there's some evidence that that could be true because... The National Guard in the state of Oklahoma during the eclipse put their special forces in different places and they were wearing hazmat suits. And I'd like to say thank you to Laura C. for extra support for my channel. And now we have this. So we're going to begin by covering the space weather that's been going on. Recently, we had that X 8.8 and uh, Mr. MBB333 demonstrated on his TV. He had a new TV, and when this happened, the G5, we had a few days ago. Now, this new TV has two wide bars in it. So, he said it was still under warranty, so he's getting another TV. But that's an example. Uh, I was surprised by that because generally I leave my TV on. I do unplug my computers. I did during this incident, and I also unplugged my modem. But my TV was on. So that happened. So we had the X 8.8 .8 from Sunspot 3664, which is now rotated. So we have... 3664 on the other side of the sun, but we have huge sunspots now rotating around that are as large or larger than 3664. And what we have happening, yeah, so we had some CMEs, we have the G5 today. Uh, May 16, we have a G2 that should give us a KP index for the auroras of 6. So it's likely we could see auroras, certainly in Canada, maybe the top edge of no the northern U.S. We also have La Nina developing on the, in the Pacific Ocean, which will increase the intensity and severity of our hurricane season. So that's going on. Now, now we're going to talk about some life-threatening floods uh, that are likely to be taking place today and tomorrow in Texas and in the central U.S. I know in Texas, in the past two weeks, according to Texas Weather Center, we have received 600% more rain in the last two weeks than we normally have uh, happening. 
So that means that all of the lakes and creeks and rivers are full and the ground is saturated. And now we have this forecast for life-threatening floods to take place in Texas and also central U.S. And especially from Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, life-threatening floods, uh, thunderstorms. Now in Texas, especially in this area, Houston, Dallas, Beaumont, over to College Station, Waco, we could expect uh, four to seven inches of rain, some areas 10 inches. So as I said, we're already have our banks full and I'm supposing that's why uh, all of the major weather centers, including Ryan Hall and Mitch West, are putting, as is the National Weather Center, life-threatening floods on top of the rain we received. And so we have Houston to Beaumont, uh, likely one to three inches, and uh, North Texas down to Central Texas, one to five inches. So that's coming. And now we have this also, I want to mention some earthquake activity. Uh, Mary Greeley's reporting. Uh, we had yesterday uh, near Eureka, California, 4.0, near Willis, California, 3.1. Today she's reporting, uh, we had near Tennessee, uh, I believe it's Ripley, Tennessee. There was a 3.8. And there are many uh, smaller earthquakes taking place now in the new Madrid seismic zone. So that's going on. And uh, yesterday we had near Galveston, Texas, we had a barge hit a bridge and uh, damaged the bridge, closed the bridge. That was the only way in and out to Pelican Island, which is the location for Texas A&M at Galveston. And uh, I think those people were there. Maybe they let them pass late last night. But they closed the bridge and closed the road to Pelican Island for several hours. Also, the Island uh, had its power go out for several hours. So this happened yesterday about 10 a.m. Power was out briefly. And uh, so then they let the, the road is closed. And also they stopped ships uh, going through that area. And I believe today, and they also, uh, the barge was owned by Martin Petroleum. They also had an oil spill of 30,000 gallons. So I believe uh, they don't have normal traffic. They have slow uh, letting in one car in and out today. And they're still cleaning up the oil spill. So that happened. So now we'll talk about... Uh, how the JV group has been trying to monitor social media. So this began in 2020. JV show to censor speech, especially on social media. And that was in regard to the COVID virus and the COVID pharma for the arm and other things plus uh, you know having questions about the election of 2020 also shut down take you off of YouTube I'm on my third YouTube channel I have a subscribe button in the lower right corner of my screen thanks for like subscribe and share now, this is coming out from um, Steve Quell's aggregate site from All News Pipeline. A Louisiana judge, Terry Dotery, 
responded to a lawsuit filed by the Attorney Generals of Louisiana and Mississippi with regard to the JV a State Department censoring free speech on social media. And judge, the judge found there was enough evidence that the U.S. government had overstepped its authority with regard to certain topics, Wuhan lab, COVID-19, pharma for the arm. There's also a lawsuit filed by Texas AG Ken Paxton and Daily Wire and The Federalist. These are news outlets. And the U.S. government used money uh, that was supposed to stop foreign propaganda from coming into the U.S., but the U.S. State Department under JV illegally used that money to censor U.S. social media. And we have this. Texas um, District Judge Jeremy Carnody uh, on behalf of Texas AG and the two news outlets, Daily and Federalist, there's enough evidence in their lawsuit for the judge to say they have standing to file the lawsuit versus the U.S. government State Department. And it's being established that the U.S. government State Department actively and with, and, and I can say this as an aside, yeah, they did it actively and certainly with malice toward uh, U.S. Um, journalists such as myself, but also uh, as an independent person on YouTube, but they also censored businesses that were in the the business of journalism. And they especially came down hard on conservative news uh, locations. The JB Group used coercion to censor social media. It's believed that more lawsuits will be forthcoming. Now, with regard to uh, censoring free media. We also have this information coming out for the pharma for the arm. You know, you couldn't say that the shots weren't safe to take. Now we have major manufacturers uh, going to all kinds of links to cover up what's now known was their pre-positioning pharma for the arm for a bioweapon, and that was the COVID. And they're currently trying to juice up now bird flu. Same thing. Okay, Redacted talks about AstraZeneca, their pharma for the arm for COVID-19 being pulled globally. Why? Tens of thousands of deaths directly related to AstraZeneca's Farmer for the Arm for the COVID-19. Now, AstraZeneca generally was not in the U.S. because they weren't licensed here. And you can believe Pfizer and Moderna kept AstraZeneca out of the U.S. Now, Dr. John Campbell brings this forth. Pfizer said, oh, they're so sorry that millions of people died from their pharma for the arm for the bioweapon COVID-19. Please uh, accept our apology. No. Now, Jim Woolley, PhD economist from Costa Rica, and Ed Dowd, formerly an economist with BlackRock, have established in the past year that the deaths in the U.S. are up 40% and the age group 25 to 49 during 2021 to 2022. I also researched that and substantiated it also with a drop of several million in population 
as reported by the U.S. government census agency. So yeah, that's going on. So now they're trying to talk about bird flu, bird flu, bird flu, and you need the pharma for the arm. It's my opinion, as I have stated in the past, regarding the COVID-19, which I began speaking about on YouTube in 2020, it was a bioweapon, and it was financed uh, by deep state pockets in the U.S., and finalized in the Wuhan lab in China. So I substantiated that. Now the deep state wants to make a second play with bird flu. Now we're going to talk about what's going on in banking. So we have the U.S., we have Florida, we have an island here, Cuba. And Hal Turner uh, substantiated this, that about on May 14, Cuba had in the past, we'll say in the last year during 2020, to 2024 in Cuba, they zeroed out cash, no cash. And then they went to a CBDC, only digital money. Then about on May 14, they cut uh, out the digital money. And the Cuban people have risen up in riots. In Havana, uh, they overcame the police, turned over police cars, chased the police away, went into the bank. And what they found in the major bank in Havana, it was empty. The vaults were open. The vaults were empty. Now, none of the people in Cuba have money. They don't have cash, and they don't have digital money. Now... The communist style government of Cuba wants to go to universal basic income. You have no money, we'll let you stay this way until you agree to universal basic income, which means a doctor would make the same as a janitor. So we see a communist takeover. It's also believed by many a analyst that this Cuba is being used as a beta test and we're gonna see how this goes here and try to take it to larger countries such as the US now in the past year uh, Jamie Dimon has been talking about the deep state has been trying to put forth a CBDC system in the US and so far, their computer system crashes after about three to four days. Don't think for one moment that the, uh, the deep state want, doesn't want to bring this about. They have done it in Cuba. Now we have this also. Uh, Texas has gold uh, backing their banks. We have a... Uh, and there are 12 states currently in the process of backing their banks with gold. And we also have many states who are interested in joining BRICS. So we see a transition in the United States. And we see a unified front by the people of America totally against a CBDC. It is my position that once you remove cash from a society, then the government is in the position to lock it down, to steal the individual's money, as they've done in Cuba. So, I believe a characteristic of a free society is that they do have a cash, a currency that flows freely through the society. And certainly digital money is very convenient. 
but that's going on. Now, we have this. Yeah. So Martin Armstrong, a uh, globally famous economist with his predictive software, Socrates. The governments want global CBDC. And they know they're going to have to go to war because they have bankrupted the current banking system. And I find this very surprising. Uh, Martin puts this forward, different nations against other nations, but then all of these fighting nations to merge. Uh, you know, one big group, I guess one big group. And it will begin with separate wars, Israel versus Iran, Europe and the U.S. versus Russia, North Korea versus Japan and South Korea, and China versus Taiwan. But what I found surprising is that the Secretary of Software is predicting all of these separate uh, wars will eventually merge. I guess we'd have Russia and China against everyone else in the world. So that's going on. And now we'll talk about bird flu. So I have a Patriot subscriber who says, the bird flu is a new strain. H5N1. Now, it's my opinion, just like uh, I have proven for several years, that COVID-19 was a bioweapon and was juiced up in a lab. It's called gain of function. I believe the bird flu also falls in this category, and they will have a hard time proving that the bird flu uh, is contagious and jumps from one species to the human species. Now, what they did with the COVID, they would have a little graph. Oh, we have all these COVID deaths here. Well, what you'd see near zero would be flu, pneumonia, and colds. Obviously, uh, they were not able to substantiate COVID-19 as a killer. Now, Dave Hodges um, brings this out that the deep state's going to weaponize bird flu. And they want to try and bring in the WHO pandemic. And they want to make it a treaty. But it's my understanding the deep state understands they're not going to get a treaty. Example, in the U.S., a treaty has to be ratified by two-thirds of Congress and then signed by the U.S. President. Uh, I guess the WHO uh, recognizes they cannot get uh, two-thirds of Congress to ratify the pandemic treaty because the American people are also against it. So what they're going to change it to is an agreement that only has to be signed by a nation's president. It is not a treaty. And we know J.B., the actor wearing a mask, uh, controlled by the deep state, will likely sign it. But it has zero political control over America. So that's good to know that. Yeah, and we have this. Also, in Nebraska, Nebraska is no longer going to tax gold and silver. Nebraska may be one of the states moving to a gold-backed banking system. And Nebraska has passed a law or a bill currently that CBDCs are not lawful. They are not lawful in the United States. According to our Constitution, legal money is gold and silver. And our 
uh, you know, use of the fiat currency you know, just for ease of use through our, our society, because gold and silver is pretty heavy, was e they brought in the fiat money to gradually then get people used to thinking of money as a currency, and then they stole the United States gold and silver. Yeah, that's going on. Okay, President Trump and JB have agreed to two debates so far. The first one will be June 27, CNN will broadcast. The second one will be September 10, which will be broadcast by ABC News. So it'll be interesting to see JB fitted with an ear uh, plug so he can receive information as he did in earlier debates against President Trump. It, he had a ear thing on, he had something on his wrist. I guess he could pat it and say help and and they would give him help and tell him how to answer the questions. So that's going on. So now our short prayer. This is based on America the Beautiful by Bates and Ward. America, may our skies remain forever clear and blue. May amber waves of grain ever fill our plains. May pilgrim feet ever seek our shores who are aligned with God. To walk in a land of freedom by constitution, in a land of liberty by law, in a land of grace by blessing from God. And we ask, Father, God bless America, beautiful place of patriot dreams and of brotherhood from sea to shining sea. And we say thank you, God the Father, God the Son, Jesus, and many call Yeshua, and God the Holy Spirit. I say to my family and friends, remain steady out there, continue to pray. God is in charge, and He is on the move. I love you, and I'll see you soon.